All right, it's Thanksgiving, as you know, and if you've got today or tomorrow off and you may want to enjoy an adult beverage or two, joining me with some great recipes, perfect for the holidays, Richard Davis. He's a bartender at Wise Guy Lounge on Mass Ave. Richard, I thought because you got your sleeves rolled up, you got your tattoos out, I yeah. thought I'd take my jacket off and Absolutely. play the part. So you're making a pumpkin pie yes. drink, which is really interesting. Let's yep. talk about what's in it. Absolutely. So I'm going to find a perfect way to make a little dessert leftover for everybody here by adding three ounces of schmallow bourbon from Hotel Tango, which is uh, I heard this is delicious. It is absolutely fantastic. And everybody's trying to figure out what to do with it. So right. if you got a bottle of this that you just got gifted at home, okay, you can easily add some of that to a blender, take a slice of pumpkin pie, take Whoa. a healthy amount of ice cream, I don't, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a pie go into like a, a blender before. Oh, absolutely. So this is going to add a fun little amount of texture to it as well. Okay. So you're going to get that graham cracker crust from yeah. the pumpkin pie here. Give that a quick blend. Pour this into whatever glass you have. I got this pretty little crystal that I'm going to use for it. That looks really good. Yes. And it looks simple too. You take your leftover pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. get some marshmallows and some schmallow uh, from Hotel Tango, and yep. look what you have here. Absolutely, and if you could do the honors for me and torch those and make them nice and warm for me. Let's see what we can do here. I would greatly appreciate that. Just press this little button, yep. right? Press the little button down. Nice and brown. Don't black it up. Don't mess up my cocktail, please. <laughs> Wonderful. There, is that it? That looks good. Looks toasty. We we'll put little... that out of there. <laughs> Put it on fire. Yeah, go ahead and have a little fun. Uh, <laughs> definitely drink responsibly and light things on fire responsibly too. But I'm going to go ahead and take care of this next part here. This which is, is a broken hatchet. Yes, this is a cocktail that we feature at Wise Guys Lounge, which you can just come see uh, me or any of my bartenders have a little fun with this on a daily basis. This is amazing. It's two ounces of Backbone Whiskey, which is a okay. local whiskey here as well. That I also did a You're cocktail mixing a lot well. together here. Absolutely. Got some dry curacao, some hazelnut liqueur. And what is it about this drink that is very holiday and it's festive? So we actually use a uh, creme brulee uh, black tea simple syrup as well, so that'll sweeten it up here. Gotcha. And then the fun part about all this is I am actually going to light this bad boy on fire. Oh, wow. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oop. If I could. There we go. There we go. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see this. It's live TV. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah. I can feel all the heat coming yeah, off. Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to take a uh, fresh orange peel right here. Get rid of that. <laughs> Light this bad boy on fire. We're going to torch this right in here. Ooh. Eric, are you getting that? We're going to add some that. cinnamon to this as well. We have a nice little show there for you. I think you have to be a specially trained bartender to do that at home. Oh, definitely. I would uh, definitely suggest doing this while you are sober, while we're behind a bar. Right. Take your cocktail and pour it in here and it's sort of nice and put that flame out. Now, where can folks get this drink if they can't make this at home? Wise Guy? Wise Guy's Lounge. We are a speakeasy behind a pizza spot called Goodfell's Pizzeria. Okay. You would walk in there, we have over 400 different whiskeys on the wall. All right. We're about to wrap up again. Richard Davis from Wise Guy, thank you so much for coming on, showing us two specialty drinks that you can actually do at home yourself. I would probably do a little training on this before you get, Absolutely. get going on this. Yeah, Thanks yeah. again. It's my pleasure. To try these cocktails, just head to our website, fox59.com slash recipes.